Um, can you tell me a little bit about Deandrick? Oh, well, Deandrick, <laughs> he was a young man full of life. He loved life. He loved mm -hmm. his mom. And you know, it was only a year separating their death. Mm -hmm. uh, my daughter had a long illness. She suffered a long illness before she found the pass. And Deandrick went about a year later. Mm -hmm. uh, he loved his mom. He loved me. Oh, he loved his grandparents to death. Uh, he wanted to go to college. Mm -hmm. I put him through college. Mm -hmm. And he, he became a writer. He wrote three books prior to his death. Mm -hmm. I haven't gotten the opportunity to read them yet, but I am. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take them to someone that will be able to help me put them into publication. Sure. He loved his fiance. Mm -hmm. He was looking forward to uh, getting married, having a family. His uh, He wanted to relocate down to Atlanta, Georgia. Mm -hmm. That's where his mom lived. But he did not get an opportunity to do so. Mm -hmm. And we wish he would have. And he was a very a happy young man. Mm -hmm. The last Christmas that he was here, mm -hmm with us. He showered me. I mean, he literally showered his grandma with gifts. He showed so much love for me. I had no problem with DeAndre. Never in my life. He never crossed me. He never talked back to me. DeAndre always had high regards to me, highly respect. We all come from the Mount Carmel Church of Christ, Disciples of Christ, sure. where myself, my husband, and DeAndre was raised up as a child. Mm -hmm. From Sunday school on, he was a martyr member. He loved church. He was an usher. He mm -hmm. sung in the choir. He was in the DCYF, which we call Disciples of Christ Youth Fellowship. And I couldn't say it. He did the right things as a child, as growing up. Yes, we all have our faults, mm -hmm. but you know what? During the whole time of DeAndre's life, I don't think there was a time we were ever upset with DeAndre. No, mm -hmm. he respected us to the utmost. Mm -hmm. He really did. We love him and we do miss him, but if we live right, Keep our hands in God's hands. We're going to see our babies.